Hey, I'm Tammy and I do Math for Coffee. Today we're doing a midpoint problem that you would see in geometry. So let's get started. A midpoint on a segment PQ, so we need to draw the segment. And this would be P. And a dot here, and that would be Q. And somewhere in the middle, we have another point, M. And they are literally telling us that that's the midpoint, which means we know that this piece and this piece are congruent. They are the same length. They are equal to each other. PM is 3x minus 1, and that is this segment right here. The other side, PQ, is 26. No, that's not the other side, is it? No. Hey, that's the whole thing. So the entire thing is 26. Fun. Okay, now we've got to work on this a little bit. If this is a midpoint, that means these two pieces are the same and the entire thing together is 26. So in order to solve this, I can do a couple different things. Somebody might be going, oh, well, I just need to double it and go 3x minus 1 here and then solve the, put these two together and set it equal to 26. So that might be the most obvious way to do it, but I'm going to do, I think, can think of a second way to do it do it too. So if you put those two things together, 3x plus 3x is 6x, negative 1 and a negative 1 put together is minus 2, and that equals 26. Add 2 to both sides in your head, and we get 6x equals 28. Divide both sides by 6, x equals, well, 28 over 6. 6 doesn't go into 28 evenly, so I just need to reduce that. We're going to divide the top and the bottom by 2, and we get x equals 28 divided by 2 is 14. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that would be my final answer. Okay, so someone else may approach this a little differently. So instead of doubling that, they would think, well, I know that's a midpoint, so I know then that this 3x minus 1 is half of the entire line, and the whole line is 26, so I'm just going to set that equal to half of 26, which is 13. You see how that could work? Now, remember our answer before was 14 over 3. Let's see if that's what we're going to get now. Add 1 to both sides in your head. You get 3x equals 13 plus 1 is 14, and boom, there is your answer. x equals 14 over 3. Now you have to put that in the final form that your teacher wants, but I, I, I like improper fractions, and I don't like to do extra work, so let's just leave it there. Okay, let's do this one. A is a midpoint of segment CT. CA equals 2x plus 8, and AT equals 4x plus 2. Find x, and then find the length of CT. So we have A is the midpoint of segment CT. So CT is the entire segment CT, and A is the midpoint. <laughs> so the distance C to A is 2x plus 8, and from A to T plus 2. But because it said that A is a midpoint, we know that these two segments are actually equal to each other, or they, you can call them congruent, but we know that the measures are equal to each other. So that sets up our problem for us to say that 2x plus 8 equals 4x plus 2. Let's start solving. Let's take 2x away from both sides. That's going to cancel, and we're left with 8 equals, well, 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 2. Now we'll subtract that 2 from both sides, and we are going to be left with 8 minus 2 is 6, and that equals, that's going to cancel, so that equals 2x. So our x equals 3, and that was one of the things we were supposed to find, x equals 3. Now, in order to find the entire length, you need to substitute this back into one of the halves. Well, I'm right here, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and put it here, and we're going to get 4 times our answer plus 2, and our answer was 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2, that's 14. That's this side, not the whole thing, but just half of it is 14, so that means the other side has to be 14 too. The entire length of 
C to T has to be 14 plus 14, which is 28. Well, that was fun. If you want to watch another one, click into this video now.